Ash is getting his grooming, weekly grooming. He's a sphinx, so he's hairless. And that means that we get a lot of body oils building up and the hair doesn't absorb it. And so it needs to be cleaned. And that's what mom and dad are for. Now, Ash has been getting this done since he was a little baby. We got him when he was about three, four months old. And this has been an ongoing thing for him. So he's really used to it. As you see, he just lays here. He's pretty chill. I'm just using a Q-tip. And going in nice and gently and swirling it around, not putting too much pressure on because I don't want to rub his skin to the point where it starts to irritate and itch. He doesn't mind this at all. He's eight months old and the little man is perfectly fine with everything that we're doing with him right now. Don't go too deep into his ears because like people ears, you can pierce the eardrums. Dogs have the dog leg shape, so you can go ahead and clean their ears without any trouble. Cats and people, be gentle, be cautious. Don't go further than, than you can see. And as you can see, his ears still got a little bit of grunge in it. You can get the backlit from the sun coming in the window. And there's still a little bit there. We're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna tidy that up. All right, little man. All right, that's the end of his ears for now. Now the tools that I use for him, for his nails, are just a small people nail clipper. He's still young, so I can use that to cut his nails. They're still small enough, and a nail file. We've been using a nail file on him since he was very small, so he's really used to this. Now, if you can see this, when you press a cat's nail, you hold their paw, and you give it a little press, their nail literally just pops out. Because he hasn't got any hair, you can see all the way through to the grappling hooks. <laughs> <laughs> we disturbed him from his nap. He's not liking that too much. So when you're cleaning his nails later on, you're going to go in with a wipe and you're going to clean all that out. But for right now, we're just going to take the nail file, hold it firmly like this. Don't squeeze too hard. We don't want to break his toes. And just buff like you're doing a nail, which you are. Nice and smooth, looks good. This one, this one's a little long. This is where I'm gonna take that people nail clipper and I'm just going to cut the very tip off. You can see through, he's got the little quick in there, that pink stuff, you don't wanna cut that. So you just cut very gently then take the nail file and buff that out soften the whole thing. Sometimes the nails will flake a little bit. That's okay. You just take the tip and you just pull that off and it's all good. Again, the key is to be really gentle with them. Ash is really good about this. He's a little freaked out because he doesn't usually have dad sitting there with the camera in his face. Cameras usually mean that he's running around with the wind up his butt. Now again, this one's a little bit long, so I take the nail clipper and I just, like that, you can see that one popped a little bit, no big deal, and file to soften that all up. And then there's this little one on the side, don't forget the dew claw, that one doesn't get a lot of touch down to the ground. He doesn't usually stick that one into his sizal carpeting to, to shred, so it gets a little long. And that's one, one paw all done. Now we take a wipe. This is just a 
no name brand and all I do is press his nail right out and then I really gently just go in there and I make sure that I get all the dirt that builds up. It's just oil, a little bit of dirt, nothing major. If you look at his eyes, he's actually relaxing quite a lot now. He's chilled out. I don't go underneath here because he's really sensitive about that, but I will wipe every other crevice that I can find. And I go on to the next nail. Sometimes there's, it almost feels like it's stuck, a little goopy. And I have a little bit of a nail, but I don't use my own nail on that. I still wrap it around the wipe and just give it a little poke. And he has a little bit of dirt there. And we clean that off. And as you can see, that's what we get off of his nails. Welcome to being the Sphinx parent. You end up cleaning them up for their entire life. Cleaning their fingers, cleaning their ears. Yes, cleaning their butts. That is almost one paw. Nicely done. Wipe it. Go very gently. You don't want to distress him. <coughs> See? Don't want to distress him. Just give that a little rub. I'm sorry, little man. I'm sorry, that was yucky. Last one. I do this once a week. When he was smaller, I do it more often, every day, every other day, just to get him used to being groomed. I know, Mr. Min. And then we wipe the paw, and we make sure that he's all clean, and then we do all the paws.